Hello, I'm Lloyd Llewellyn Jones. I'm Professor of Ancient History at Cardiff University, where I specialize in the history of ancient Persia. And in particular, I'm interested in the relationship that Persia had with its neighbors, especially the ancient Greeks, which brings me on very nicely to this object, which is actually my favorite in the whole of this exhibition. It's a red figure lekythos made in Athens around about 400 BCE. A lekythos, as you can see, is a round bodied vase with a thin neck and a kind of stopper top. And it was used for keeping perfume. In fact, there's a little flask built within this. So there's only a drop of perfume that was ever kept in it at any one point. But it's not so much the vase itself that I'm interested in, but the iconography or the image which is uh, made onto it. It was made by an Athenian potter in the Keramikos, the place where pottery was traditionally made, just outside Athens. And it shows not an Athenian scene at all, but something quite exotic. It depicts a Persian king sitting on the back of a camel and surrounded by members of his court, all of whom seem to be having a very good time indeed. There's lots of music, there's a fair bit of dancing going on, there are slaves carrying fans, others carrying burning torches. So this seems like some kind of decadent, candlelit festivity. It says quite a lot about how the Greeks imagined the Persians. But there are some really interesting details that I want us to focus on here. The first, of course, is the depiction of the king himself. He's depicted side profile as a handsome man with a long beard. But then you'll notice that the artist very skillfully depicts him frontally on. So his knees jut out to us, his feet come out to us. This is very unusual in Greek art to see this kind of format of the human body. And it must always ring alarm bells in our minds. Something strange is going on here. And I think what the artist is trying to show here is like, look, this is a very unusual scene. And of course, the king sits on a kind of howder and that is strapped to the back of this camel. It's a double humped camel, so it's a Bactrian camel, which means it must have come all the way from the eastern part of the Persian Empire. And by the looks of the camel's face and neck, I don't think this Greek artist ever saw a camel alive. What they probably heard were reports about camels in Persia, and perhaps they saw Persian representations of camels in things like seal stones, which traveled widely around the empire. It's very true that camels were important parts of Persian society. In fact, camels even took part in the Persian army. A camel corps known as the Ushabara was employed alongside horse cavalry in traditional fighting techniques. And we know that the great king Darius I had no less than 33 of his own camels which used to follow him around the empire whenever he moved. And I think really that's the theme that's really going on in this lekythos as well. The Greeks knew a lot about the Persian Empire. Some of it they misunderstood and some of it they deliberately distorted. So I don't think we've got a kind of scene of decadence going on here at all. I think what's being represented here is the annual progression of the king as he traveled around his empire from one palace to another, which the Greeks knew the Persians did with regularity. But it's fascinating to see how this artist responds to that knowledge and paints this magnificent, lively picture. So I wonder who painted this. I wonder who purchased this vase and I wonder in what house it ended up in Athens or elsewhere.